So Dennis, the first thing I want to ask you is what went through your mind when you heard your name? Well, the first thing went through my mind is I couldn't actually believe it. You know, I, I was thinking about that moment for uh, a long time when we were in top four and I was just like, what is it like, you know, and it's just, just an unforgettable experience, you know, they say your name and it's just in the split of a second something is revealed and you're like totally amazed at what's just happened and you just start wondering if it's really happening or not you know so it's uh it's really kind of you know, it happens like once in a lifetime so and it takes it happens only to a few people so it's like really amazing you know i've just seen it on tv and to be there and to be the person who is like to be elected is kind of really weird. yeah now you've you've won some some ballroom championships before. So how did this feeling compare to winning those? Uh, when I won the other championships, I was a little bit younger, and uh, a lot of people kind of supported me and guided me to winning. So I was kind of unconscious of that, and uh, a lot of that was their help as well. Whereas here, I was working more by myself, and uh, so I was just putting my own energy, and so. It's very different, you know. In competitions, you have you have judges judging you and not the people. And here, it's, the people are voting for you, and it's totally different, you know. Dancing on stage in front of cameras, it's much much different experience. You know? And you said that you'd sort of thought about this moment when you made top four. Did did you think about it way back when you first auditioned? Did it ever cross your mind? No, not really. No. At the first moment, I, the whole experience was so new to me, the show, the television, so I, I couldn't really imagine it. I didn't even think that, that the Canada would pick me because I'm more of a quieter person and more reserved. And so I was never sure that you know they would root for somebody like that with my personality. They did. Yeah, they sure did. I guess I guess the dancing uh, you know came through as well as your personality because I think you have a good one. Um, was that when had you last seen your parents before tonight? Uh, a few weeks ago. Okay. And what what did they say to you when they got on stage? Well, my mom was just there. My dad was at home because he didn't feel so good. Oh, okay. Um, she was just crying. I mean, she, for a long time, for her, I was her favorite dancer. So then she told me, oh, well, you see, you're Canada's favorite dancer now. For her, it meant, like, the whole world, you know. Yeah. It's, like, the best moment in her life. Yeah. And I, I know that you've sort of made a lot of sacrifices, um, you know, for dance, uh, that it's, it hasn't been easy because you've been supporting yourself in that. Um, what sort of message would you have for people who are planning to audition for season four? Season four? I would say you have to prepare well, like you have to be well versed in different styles. I would say at least two styles have to be done well. and. Uh, take as much classes as you can and uh, work on yourself every day and so maybe at least one two hours you know otherwise otherwise you're just kind of following somebody else's orders and you have to really take charge of you as a dancer and not not just you know stumble around well thank you so much Dennis really well deserved thank you oh and another thing yes if they want to audition for the show and do well in the show their primary reason should be to say something with their dancing and not to, to to win, you know, because if they think about winning, they it's not gonna not gonna happen. They have to they have to go on the show because they want to say something to the people through their dancing. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Thanks again. Thank you.